evening. I am Mr. Tribbiani. And I will be teaching acting for soap operas. Now, um, on my first day as Dr. Drake Remore on Days of Our Lives, <laughs> uh, I learned that one of the most important things in soap opera acting is reacting. This does not mean acting again. <laughs> it means you don't have a line, but someone else just did. And it goes something like this. <clears throat> <gasps> thanks, thanks, thanks a lot. Oh, by the way, before I forget, to work in soap operas, some of you are going to have to become much more attractive. <laughs> Moving right along. Okay, some tricks of the trade. Now, I've never been able to cry as an actor, so if I'm in a scene where I have to cry, I cut a hole in my pocket, take a pair of tweezers, and just start pulling. Okay. Or, uh, or let's say I want to convey that I've uh, just done something evil. Well, that would be your basic, I've got a fish hook in my eyebrow, and I like it. Let's say I've just gotten bad news. Well, all I do there is try and divide 232 by 13. <laughs> and that's how it's done. Great soap opera acting tonight, everybody. Class dismissed. Hey, Mr. Tripp. Hey, guess what? I got an audition. Oh. One of my students got an audition. I'm so proud. I was wondering if you would consider coaching me for it. Oh, you bet. What's the part? Oh, it's great. It's a role in all my children. Nick the Boxer. <laughs> Look. I just saw my best friend's brain smeared across the canvas. It's not going to be me. Not me. Wow. That was good. That was... Tweezers? No. Oh, wow. really good. Thanks. Any suggestions? Hmm. I... You told him to play the boxer gay? Well, I, I might have said super gay. You totally screwed him over. Joey, you're this guy's teacher. I mean, how could you do this? Because, Monica, the guy's so good, and I, I really, really want this part. Well, if you really, really want it, then it's okay. There will come a time in each of your careers when you'll have a chance to screw over another soap opera actor. I had such an opportunity in the recent present. And I'm ashamed to say that I took it. I advised a fellow actor to play a role homosexually. <laughs> yeah. We both auditioned for the part, and uh, as it turned out, a... Uh, they like the stupid gay thing and cast him. <laughs> now, he's got a two-year contract opposite Susan Lucci, the first lady of daytime television. <laughs> me, me, I'm stuck here teaching a bunch of people, most of whom are too ugly to even be on TV. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you.